Hi guys. Hey, I wanted to do a flight review for the Dynam C188 Dusty. Um, I originally bought this quite a while back, a couple years ago, back when Motion RC was still selling them. Um, the uh, Bitco Hobby, Bitco sells them now, and Grayson Hobbies uh, also sells Dynam. Um, I gotta be honest with you, when I first got this plane, I really didn't care for the way it flew. Um, come to find out, lo and behold, I never checked the CG on it. So, I was real tail heavy, and come to find out, if you fly a 4-cell 2200 in it, you have to uh, definitely add some weight. I think I added 4 or 5 ounces of weight in the nose. Um, and it still could use some more, um, but I took it out and flew it today. I just flew two packs through it, uh, 2200 four cell, and I'll tell you guys, I really, really like the way it flew today, and it's even windy. Um, there's a crosswind uh, coming from the south, and this thing would just settle right in and land beautiful with the full flaps and uh, flew really nice and straight. I do have a Admiral um, gyro receiver in it and that definitely helped today with being as windy as it was. But I tell you guys, um, this thing is a lot of fun to fly to, as of today. Um, and like I said, it's my own fault. I never checked the CG, and that's my own fault. Um, has nothing to do with the airplane, because I'll tell you what, once the CG's right on this airplane, it flies fantastic. Um, so, done a little bit of detail, different things to it. Um, I added uh, lights to it. Um, it's got the uh, red strobe. It's got a red strobe underneath. The... Uh, red light and the green light or wait a minute I got that backwards no I don't um and uh then the uh uh landing lights up in the front um got those added and I had to put a pilot in it so put Barbie in it Barbie is my uh pilot man she did a good job today I'm really uh really impressed with her flying skills today but like I said, I do have a Admiral um, gyro receiver, and I had to turn it up the gains on it quite a bit today. Um, also, something that I do on mine, getting the battery, like I said, it's got quite a bit of weight up in there. But getting the battery in and out of this is kind of a chore. So what I did was I took a paint mixing stick and put velcro on the bottom of that and then put velcro on the top for the battery to go into and that way i have something to grab onto i grab onto that and pull it out makes it a lot easier getting the battery out of this thing um and uh it's a lot easier on your battery too because you're not pulling the wires or anything like that but anyway guys like i said i uh really enjoy this plane now um had a lot of fun flying it today and i'm just gonna leave it uh as is charge up batteries and come back out tomorrow night tomorrow night's our first club night for the uh flying club so um anyway i hope you guys are all doing good and uh just uh stay safe out there and hopefully you guys are getting in areas where it's nice and warm i'll tell you 70 degrees today and man i'm ready for this kind of weather every day because it's gonna be a get, good way to be at the flying field or the uh excuse me or the rc track one of the two but anyway guys thanks a lot and uh y'all have a great night and stay safe out there and thanks for watching if you're new to the channel please subscribe and uh like and comment and we'll see you on the next video thanks guys bye